Hey guys, welcome back to H&M Reactions. This is your girl Angel and I'm back with another video. Um, today the video is going to be Will Smith Smacks out of Chris Rock who's going to jail. And this video is by um, the Cryer family with Mr. Cryer. Um, I'm not going to give a talk or anything. Let's just get started with the video. Hey, Damian Cryer and I'm back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. Yo, boy, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right. If you guys have not subscribed to the Cryer family, all you have to do is turn that bell on to subscribe to the channel. But being subscribed to the channel only means you are subscribed. In order to get the notifications, every time I drop a video on the Cryer family, you must turn on that bell with the vibrating symbol. It's me. It's the speed. I ran out of gas. <laughs> That way, every time I upload a video on the Cryer family, you, you, and you will get the notifications. Guys, 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 guys. What in the Sam's hell is going on in these Oscar award streets, man? You can't even go to the Oscars without getting your ass whooped, man. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. I'm sort of kidding. Anyway, man, I have a reaction video to the Will Smith smacking the hell out of Chris Rock yeah, coming later on. Spring, the so video was uploaded. But some of the content in my video, YouTube had a problem with it. So um, I will have that video coming later on for you guys. I'm going to have to just, you know, get back in the chop shop, fillet it a little bit, do a little bit editing. But man, I just want to talk about it, man, real quick. But first, we're going to play this little audio clip, man. You guys really can't see it, but you guys will be able to hear some of the contents of what happened um, at those awards last night. Because from what I understand, it was crazy. I didn't even know about this until today. And I'm like, bro, what the hell? So I went to YouTube, right? And I clicked on the trending tab. I mean, I went to explore and I clicked on the trending tab. Uh oh, it's loading slow. It's loading slow. Hopefully it'll load, guys. I'm in this area where I don't get like a really good signal. But anyway, if it doesn't load, it's all good. But guys, listen, apparently I woke up this morning and like when I clicked on YouTube, which is rare for me to do because I don't click on it when I first wake up. But for, oh, I know what it was. I got messages last night. I was getting DMs and messages last night saying, Mr. Cryer, can you please react to Will Smith? I'm like, Will Smith? I don't even be watching Will Smith like that. Like, last time i really watched will smith was like hancock i remember the movie hancock where will smith had all these you know powers and he was able to fly to different planets and all this other stuff um reminds me of like a superman movie kryptonite where no matter what hits him nothing hurts him or affects him but anyway people was like mr cryer can you please react to will smith and chris rock and so finally as i if I'm able to release my reaction tonight, you guys will see in my reaction video where I'm clearly like tripping because I didn't know it was real. I didn't know that Chris, that 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 Will Smith actually gave Chris Rock the business in front of everybody, bro. He get, man, listen. Oh, wait, okay. I turned my Wi-Fi off, guys. Now I'm able to pull it up. This is a minute and 23 second uh, audio. I'm going to turn this volume up so you guys can hear it. This is apparently Chris Rock is on stage, like, talking or whatever, and some crazy stuff going to jump off. So I'm going to play the audio for you guys. Praying that Will Smith wins, but please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> Okay, Chris Rock made some type of joke. G.I. Jane 2. Okay. And apparently in the video, if you guys watch it, you can see Will Smith is literally cracking up in his chair, laughing his butt off. But if you pause the video and look at Jana Pickett real close, she had a smile, but it didn't quite make it to her ears. It was one of these. But it wasn't that. It wasn't one of those smiles. So I was trying to figure out what the hell did Chris Rock say? that made uh, Will Smith react the way he acted, but we're gonna go ahead and finish playing it. And that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. I'm out here, uh oh, Richard. <laughs> okay, this is the part that got me because 
when you plan and schedule your social media with later you can focus on your business while your social runs itself which means you can be doing this while your social does this or do this in my reaction, I didn't realize that that was Will Smith actually walking up there on stage like that. And what he does next, man, I think just shock everybody. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Literally. Nick name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to, okay? Listen, I do not blame Chris Rock, not one bit. I would never mention her name, not one time. I don't even know if he even mentioned her name. He made a joke about G.I. Jane. Now, the only thing I can take from this video of the events that went down at these Oscars last night was maybe Jada has some type of medical condition with her hair or whatever. But whatever the case was, I'm I'm lost because Will Smith was literally sitting there cracking up laughing. Like, so he thought it was funny. But he also thought it was funny to get up out of his chair and go up on stage and smack him in front of, like, the views I've seen is almost at 60 million views worldwide. So, oh my God, guys, guys. I've had a situation like this occur in my personal life, but I've never seen something like this unfold on national television where two well-known celebrities um, go at it like that. And I can't imagine what Chris Rock was thinking at the time when Will was walking up to the stage because I know he didn't think Will was walking up there to shake his hand and say, hey, thank you or whatever. But I don't think he was also expecting that that man was gonna knock fire out of him. Now, I'm gonna say this. Chris Rock is one of my favorite comedians. I mean, he's like my most favorite comedian in the whole world. Will Smith, I grew up watching Will Smith, though we're about the same age. I think Will Smith may be older than me. Um, if he is, just a tad bit, maybe a year or so. I could be wrong. But, whatever's going on, man, and a lot of you may not agree with me on what I'm gonna say, but I personally think Will Smith was wrong for smacking that man like that. I think that Will Smith had a conversation with Denzel Washington, Tyler Perry, and a few other people behind the scene after everything had jumped off. But it would really make you wonder, like, what could have possibly went through his mind at that time as that man smacked him like that in front of everybody? I had a situation years ago where I was with this chick, man. This was before I even moved down to Houston. This before I even got married, any of this stuff, man. I want to make that clear so nobody try to come at me with no BS. But this was before I even got married, man. Like, I was dating this chick, man. And this dude, like, I was young too, man. Like, in my, like, I was in my either late teens or my early 20s where I was dating this girl, man. And, like, dude was being so disrespectful like he was literally walking up behind us just talking crazy talking about he was gonna smack me and he'll whip me in front of my girl and all this man and i had the stroller i was pushing my baby no it wasn't my baby but it was like my baby it was her son she had a son already but he was like he was just in his month so i was pushing the stroller and we was trying to avoid this dude. He was just talking and talking. I let that stroller go. I turned around, man, and I hit him so hard in his mouth. And he went down. And all he could say was that he was joking. He was just joking. But he wasn't joking. What happened was he just got his ass whooped. So I think the reason why I told y'all that story is because it would be hard for me to actually, in Chris Rock's situation, let's just say, if I was in Chris Rock's situation, I wouldn't know how to react. I don't know if Chris Rock is married or his girl was there or his fiance was there, but somebody to walk up on stage like that and smack you in front of your woman, man, that'd be hard bullet for me to swallow right there. Somebody even whooping my ass in front of my girl would be hard for me to swallow. But I'm just saying though, for Chris Rock, that would be hard because I'm one of those type of dudes, man, even if I look at somebody and I say it to myself, I know he'll whoop me. I know he'll whoop my ass. I know he'll fold me. It don't matter. You ain't gonna just whoop me like that. I'm gonna pick up something and bust you in your head, take off running or something. 
You ain't gonna just whoop me in front of my girl has some snot and boogers running out of my nose, tears running down my face. <laughs> and I'm not saying that that's the case because that wasn't the case based off the footage that I seen. But what I am saying, it would be hard for me to swallow knowing that another man not only just walked up and smacked me in front of everybody, but I mean, all I'm gonna say, a lot of people are saying, hey, shout out to Will Smith, big props to Will Smith. I'm gonna say shout Okay, so the reason why I'm not saying it right now is because I'm gonna watch the video first and then I'm gonna do my reaction at the end. Shout out to Chris Rock because you know when two men get into it like that we know how physical that it could turn you know so even though chris rock walked away with getting smacked on stage i still commend him for walking away like that because it takes you know a lot to endure something like that and not go off i mean even after he got assaulted on stage in front of all these people and all these celebrities and stuff in front of all these cameras rolling he still maintained and continued his part of the show um, without even grabbing his face or, you know, falling to the ground or nothing. It would have just took a lot out of me not to. I, and, and, and I'm not just saying me like I'm the big bad wolf. I'm not big and bad. But it's been known that Damien Cryer does hold his own. You ain't going to find too many people that's going to come on here and say that they whoop my ass. You just ain't going to see that. It, it, it just ain't going to happen. And if they do, we know they lying. Because I'll ask them to put their receipts, dates, and times with it. But it's just crazy, man, because, you know, you know, like Will Smith, again, I don't know the whole entire story because I only base things off of what I've seen. I've seen a one minute and 20 something second video, which I just played most of that for you guys. So I don't know if it was some behind the scenes stuff going on. Uh, I don't know if it was like they got into it before the show started. Or there was some bad blood or what but i just didn't really see enough in there to make will smith smack her like that i mean to make him make will smith smack that man like that i just didn't see enough now chris rocky is a comedian so they do make jokes about people and if you're like sitting in the front row of a stand-up comedian show you're most likely going to be under attacked in that show so i would say if you ever go to a, like a comedian show stand up don't try to get the best seats because them getting the best seats could put you right in the line of fire but you know so whatever happened in will smith's personal life i'm sure that something was going on there for him to react the way that he reacted because he really when i first seen it man i thought it was fake i'm not gonna lie i said okay these two right here they got their clown suits on. They acting stupid. Now, I ain't going to say nothing too stupid because I don't want Will to pull up on me. You know what I'm saying? Trying to smack me. I mean, that ain't going to happen. But uh, I just feel like that there's a little bit more to the story than what we know. I know right now the video went viral. And it's crazy because I sit back and look at like people talk about, oh, we so tired of the drama. Here goes the drama again. I'm sure if them two just walked up and shook hands, they wouldn't have got views like that. And people say that they tired of the drama, but yet they're here for the drama. That's why I say people with YouTube channels, you could have a million subscribers, but you only may get like 20 to 50,000 views a video. It's because you got certain people who's only subscribed for certain content. Some people, believe it or not, are actually really there just for the drama and the drama only. But anyway, that's getting off track a little bit. I just wanted to prove a point. But it just kind of strikes me as odd how many people actually was there to view watching another man smack another man. And then people say, well, we don't like the drama. But they're there for it and they want more of it. That's the crazy thing. But again will smith man you know i wish the best for both of them i do um comment down below if you guys believe that there's gonna be lawsuits following this right here i do understand that will smith said that he uh, not crit will smith chris rock from my understanding not facts guys just my understanding that chris rock was not going to press charges that's what my understanding is but I don't know if there's going to be lawsuits following this, guys. Comment down below if you think that there's going to be lawsuits followed behind this. Because I know, like, the average person, 
just the average person who didn't have money, wasn't rich, you know, wasn't up there like that. Most likely 99.99999% would have went to jail. No doubt about it. It's one thing alleging that somebody assaulted you, but it happens in front of millions of people. Like, oh my freaking God. So comment down below if you guys think that Will Smith was wrong. Do y'all think that Chris Rock was wrong for making a joke? Or do y'all think the person who wrote the script for Chris Rock to do the Okay, so my reaction is going to be, um, I think that Will Smith was wrong. I do. And I say that because um, regardless of the situation, if she, he was laughing at first. And the moment that he turned, he over there and his wife Jada, that's when he decided to get up and walk on that stage. On the first of all, like he said, you millions of people are watching. Then it's a bunch of people that's actually there in person that's watching. That is just not professional. He could have waited until after the Oscar Awards and went back. You know, they could have talked backstage. She could have look, man. I don't appreciate what you said about my wife. It hurt her feelings or whatever. You know, whatever he wanted to say. He could have saved it to backstage, but to get up like that and smack that man, it just shows how much lack of self-control that he has. And it doesn't look good at all. And then, um, yeah, it just didn't look good at all. And I'm surprised, you know, I feel like um, Chris, Rock, Chris Rock handled it really good because it could have actually got pretty bad like chris rock could have retaliated and punch, dropped the mic and punched him or took the mic and hit him in the face with the mic or anything like he could have really just got bad there and um even though he did ruin the show and um ruin the excitement for the awards he it could have he could have really like ruined the show like it could have really got bad like he could have started a family fight and everything so you know, it's just, it wasn't a good look, and I'm pretty sure um, he's going to get some, it ain't, it, they probably not saying it now, but he won't really, he won't have to pay the consequences for that. I just, you know, using the common sense, if you're doing that at an at a Oscar Awards, he's he got some consequences coming for him, so, for anybody else that is thinking about Oh, I'm going to be like Will Smith and walk on stage and punch somebody? Don't do it. Don't do it. Because <laughs> he got consequences coming to him. But, um, yeah, that's my reaction, y'all. Um, yeah, that's all I can say is, you know, I think he's wrong. He could have handled the situation better than that. And, you know, um, as... A wife, Jada could have stopped him and told him, you know what, leave it alone, it's okay, sit down, let's just, you know, watch the awards. She stayed right there. I bet she was, I bet that made her smile when he got up on that stage and smacked that man. But, you know, it only comes back about you and your behind because you're going to have to, um, deal with the consequences. The consequences that will suffer is going to affect her also since she's the wife so you know sometimes you gotta you know it's mind over matter sometimes you gotta use your brain and you know even though it probably did hurt her feelings or hurt his feelings whichever you know he want to say you still gotta you know think about the consequences before you get up and do something like that so but um Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do subscribe. And um, we got a bone to pick because I've been telling y'all to leave y'all comments. Y'all be acting like y'all scared to talk to me. Don't be scared to talk to me. I want. I don't care what you say. Just leave a comment. Like, talk to me. Let me know. Whatever you want to say to me, you can say it in the comments. But, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.